Enjoy the Hippodrome. Don't lose all your money at the races. I am Baek. Aya sent me to speak to Apollodorus. Shh. I'm sure you can appreciate that my master takes precautions concerning those he meets. I have a question only he can answer. I will tell him you seek his counsel and that Aya recommends you. Wait for tonight. If he sees fit to meet you, you will be found near the lighthouse then. Until then, the Hippodrome's commemorating one of its greatest racers. Plenty of drinking and festivities. Along with the races themselves, of course, if that appeals. Senifa, is it you? Bayak, you sour facey one. <laughs> I, I am Claridas now. What are you doing here? Icarus was a thousand times better than you! Oh! Oh. Who's going to lead you greens now, Malakia? You're a babe at the teat. You think you can win the Cursus Magnus? <laughs> Horse shit! Leave Nikias alone. Icarus's death was a dark day for all of us. Let him weep in peace. So, is Aya with you? Ah, hey, I'm alone. <laughs> I was just asking. <laughs> Ask my foot next time. <laughs> no matter. Join us at the tavern later. Hmm? <laughs> I saw you ride last month when five chariots all crashed at the turn. Yes, that was an amazing race. Your horses look so strong, so sleek. How do you choose them? <laughs> I have an eye for flesh. <laughs> Can I buy you a drink? Any time. Fetch a fresh round. So I said, it's not your pig I'm talking about, it's your wife. <laughs> oh, oh. Bayak! How long has it been? A decade? <laughs> More? <laughs> you left Siwa a long time ago, huh? And you left your name behind too. I had to. Claridas is a name better suited for the Hippodrome. <laughs> Remember the horses we rode outside Siwa? Huh? Oh, those nags. <laughs> I thought you would never leave that shithole. Mm. Siwa. Small, poor, and ugly. <laughs> the only beauty there was Aya. Has it changed much? Has she? Things change. People change. <laughs> ah! I need another drink! <laughs> Pardon, Neb. I overheard Claridas say you once rode together. My father sponsors the Prazina Greens, and we are in need of a mighty racer. I'm only here to drink and forget. Leave him alone, Nikias. <laughs> Real men are drinking here tonight. <laughs> Bayek, come. Let me show you something inspiring. Huh? Where are you taking me, Senefa? 
Please, Claridas. I have not been Senefer in years. Ah, why did you change your name? To succeed in the Hippodrome, one must be welcomed by the Greek houses. So, a Greek name. Oh. You abandoned your name? Your home? Siwa was nothing to me. The Greeks may look down on us, but screw them! I eat and drink well on what I win. I have no ambition to race at the Hippodrome. You? <laughs> no, never. They cheer for me. Besides, you would need a sponsor, a real chariot. Now, Icarus, he was a true hero. Did you know he won a thousand races and survived twice as many? See how they loved Icarus? You have adopted their gods too. Aye. This in van, Pedes. Lexon, Lexon. Boo! Hey, what's Put the meaning of this? Our gods never did anything for me. You're lucky I left. If I had stayed, Aya would have been mine. You are drunk and an ass. You have no idea what I gave up. Oh, the world is hard. You always looked down on me in Siwa. Thought you were better. I never. Doesn't matter. I have found fame. At what cost? You gave up your home, your name, your gods. You trust this path. And it has brought me all the coin and cant I want. Now, you always wanted glory. It is not what drives all of us. And all you wanted was Aya and little Bayax. What made you abandon your dream? Enough. You alive? <laughs> you are old. Time for me to dunk my head. Uh, the beer hits harder than you. What in Dionysus' name were you talking to Nikias about last night? Nikias? Who? Don't bullshit me. I saw you. What? You think his father will just welcome you onto the Prasina Green team? You really think you can roll onto the track and win races with no training? No skill? Piss on you. Maybe I should seek this Nikias out and hear his offer. If you can win, Claridas, it can't be that hard. You might want to pray first. You'll need all the help you can get to survive the Hippodrome. The gods will watch us race and decide... You have your gods, I have mine. We'll see who rides out covered in glory. Enough has been said. <laughs> Let the gods judge you in the Hippodrome. Bye! I did not expect to see you here. <laughs> Quite the estate. Yes, we've been lucky. Father breeds horses, and his horses have often won in the games. I told him about meeting you. You told him what? Not much. That you are a rider. That you know Claridas well. Too well. By half. Come. He would love to meet you. Beautiful, isn't she? Bright eyes, flawless gait. Hey, she wants to win, eh? You know a thing or two about horses. Nikias, who is your friend? Father, this is Bayek. He wants race with Claridas. My father, Philocrates of Canopus, son of Themistocles of Canopus. Grew up with Claridas? Let's see you drive, Barak. Nikias, keep close. Maybe you'll learn something. It's Bayek. Ah, fine. 
Does Siwa have a great course for racing? No. We are a small village. We did have chariots. The old kingdom and its pharaohs brought them. I envy that freedom. When was the last time you raised Claridas? A long while. I barely know the name. Careful! Tighter on the reins! Watch the statuary! Icarus was the true master of the races, something Claridas hopes to aspire to. My father loved Icarus. He was his favorite, his favorite rider. Let's show my father your natural skill. You have a light touch! You are a natural. With you riding for the green, I'm sure we can win in the Hippodrome. You are a natural. You have a light touch. Buster by a cluster. Such speed. What's going on? Something's wrong. Father! Hurry, Bayek! Negias! Whole thieves! Here! The balls on them! She is my winning guest horse. You have to get her back. We won't let you down, father. Move out! Hurry, men! We can't let these brazen raiders get away with this! The honor of Prasina Green depends on it! For Prasina Green! Out of my way! Now! Keep a sharp eye out! Father loves that horse more than... more than all the others we've raced. For Philocrates! For Saganaki! Whoa. How many bandits yeah. do you think there are? Do not worry. We have the Magi with us. We will be fine. Who are these bandits? Scum who are working for the Blues, I'm sure. Have you heard about the Great Hungry Ones? Who are they? Bandits down south. I think they write war hippos. What? Are you serious? So I've heard. Whoa. This place is heavily guarded. Ooh. Wait a minute. By Serapis, you did it! I cannot believe it! I was convinced we'd never see Saranagi or my son again! I dealt with the bandits who stole her. I suspect they stole Saganaki on behalf of your blue rivals. Gods blast them! We'll have to beat the blues in the races to teach them shame and humiliation. I hope you raise wearing the green, I... Barrett. I will do my best. Three, two, one, begin! Yeah! 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 
That's another lap completed! Scene of death. I should investigate. Was this a terrible ceremony? There is so much blood, as if some butchery occurred here. But the elements have eroded many of these signs. Scraps of a message. Ah, there's too much missing. Sekhmet, the goddess of hunters. But there are scratches here, above the statue's stomach. What does it represent? <laughs> Scraps of blood and flesh. There was a body here, but crocodiles must have devoured it. The lid of a sarcophagus. There was a symbol here, but it is too damaged for me to make out. Troubling. If I had more information, I might understand this better. But as he was eaten by a crocodile, I'll keep my eye out for anything else so unusual. Indications of violence and bloodshed. I should investigate. man was half eaten by crocodiles, but only after he died. Someone prepared him for burial and cut out some of his sacred organs. His stomach, at least, was removed. The symbol. A dedication to Serket, the goddess of magic. The scorpion. Old blood stains this table. I think the body was prepared here, but crudely. This is no fine skilled work. Sinister writings. Uh. Serapis, God of divine majesty and Lord of the Sun, someone has placed a mark upon you. 
The scorpion is the sign of circuit. These deaths seem like a kind of perverse ritual against the gods. Who or what is driving it? Nebet, what grief has swallowed you? We... we came to pay our respects to Icarus. To make an offering for him to ride victoriously in the next life. But... but... Shh. Gently now. I'm listening. Blue ruffians came at us. They jeered at our sorrow. And when my Halius spat in their faces, they struck him down. They killed him, then stole a bust of Icarus and ran. Now, my younger son, Icarus, has gone off towards the shore, chasing after those blue demons. I fear he'll join his brother. We came to mourn our hero, and now my family is destroyed. Please, Magi, save my last son. Don't let his life end today. Go back to your home. Try to rest. I will find him and bring him back to you. Let's take a look. survive an encounter with me. Time to go home. Wait, Medzai. These sagging cocks stole a bust of Icarus that my mother had prepared for the great charioteer's memorial. They threw it in the river to defile it and bring a curse upon the Prasina green racers. We need it. Let me get you to your mother first. No. You must retrieve it before it is lost for good, or else my mother will never recover from her despair. I can make it home, but I am too weak to find the bust. Please, find the bust of my namesake and bring it back to my mother. As I must. <laughs> Even in death you ignite their passion, Zikaras. Let's get you where you belong. Medzai, you saved my son! A thousand thanks and more I owe you. The bust of Icarus! Now Prasina has a chance in the upcoming games. You are truly a blessing sent from the gods. We will make an offering to Icarus and the Prasina Green in your name. There is no need for that. But if you must, make the offering for my son. I would have loved to have shown him the spectacle of the Hippodrome. We will. Come, mother. We have to prepare to deal with my brother's funeral. Yes, of course. At least he's glad that the bust of Icarus was restored. Whoa. A 
Apollodorus. You there! Are you here to kill me or to be my friend? Friend. Bike of Siwa. Ah, then your help, please. You are I as Magi, huh? Any other survivors? Only Damastis. They took him prisoner. And the scroll? What of the scroll? Damastis had it. That ass Damastis should have destroyed it. Cleopatra owes you much. Can you get to a healer by yourself? I've killed you, Doros. Huh? Well done. He was the snake, yes? Man to man, Baek, there is much you have yet to understand. <laughs> man to man, I need an answer. Now, I must take the measure of you first. Rescue Domastis and recover the scroll. And then I will know if you're the man that I acclaimed you to be. Where is this Damastis? He should be on the docks in Carnopos Harbor. I can't risk that someone reads the scroll he carries. Hey, what? you. It was very unpleasant in there. You have killed them all. Bastards, they deserve to die. Get me to a safe place, then we will talk. I was going to kill all of them. That damn cage was too hard to get out of is all. Apollodorus sent me to help you. Give me the scroll. Scroll? I do not have any scroll. Your job was to carry it. I hid it on our ship. I did not want it to fall into the wrong hands. Where is the ship? At the bottom of the lake. They sank it. Ah, very well. I will get it. Apollodorus is waiting for you at the lighthouse. I will tell him to find you near the sunken ship. Here's your precious papyrus. Well done, Bayek. I see you are a capable man. Someone I may be able to trust. The scroll was meant for the Roman general Pompey in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. She will be grateful to you for keeping the communication secret. She is at my estate. We're headed there now. How does Aya fit into all this? Her cousin Phanos informed me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. I should tell you that in addition to Eudorus, I put an end to the Philacetai of Alexandria. Gennadios. Gennadios? I am very glad he is dead. But it will cause serious problems for you. The Felakis are a tightly bound group. 
and murderers. They will certainly come after you. So be it. Can I ask why you wanted Eudorus dead? As you know, Cleopatra's brother, Ptolemy, is too young and pliable to be a strong leader. We believe Eudorus was the force behind Ptolemy, responsible for so many of Egypt's current ills. Here we are. The villa is up ahead. You will learn more at the villa. The queen enjoys the life of high society. I'm pleased that Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bayek. Before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of you. She can be particular. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the queen, bend your knee in deference. Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. Do not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage, and they like to amuse themselves. Sometimes to excess. Speak clearly, in measured tones, and above all, do not meet her gaze. Ready? I cannot wait. <laughs> Catch you. me! Catch me! Come here, both of you! Yes! She I'm caught me with her husband. The sensation is most delightful. This way. Oh, don't worry. She doesn't <laughs> hold the ground. Please! Mm -hmm. Where is my opium pipe? I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like Xantivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In Mehoto Ek Nebsheven. My queen, this is... Uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I have already pledged my life. To this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends! <laughs> you were meant to kneel. <laughs> ah, Pasheremta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudoros. Delightful. You are joining our efforts, then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why should I care about them? Oh, the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. We have informants in each region. This... They have been unable to touch the Order. <clears throat> Across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages. Yet, a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the Order of Ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself, the one called the Lizard, has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the Order of Ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He 
was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum. It is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still have not found the man who killed Remu. Our sun shed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. So it shall be. Tonight, we drink, celebrate, make love. Tomorrow, Told her to hurry back. You, Neb, are young and your legs are strong. Perfect for my needs. A pigeon arrived not long ago. I sent Ruya to fetch it, but she is so unreliable. Probably batting her eyes at the Master of Arms. If I see her... Never mind her. I want my letter. Run up to the pigeon tower and fetch it. All news is important to us these days. All right, Stuart. I will see what I can do. The pigeons are in a ruckus. What has upset them? An ill omen. How did that charcoal get spilled? Fresh. The railing broke, and someone went over it. <clears throat> Lot of blood. Where's the body? Take you back to Peleus for the proper rites. Poor Ruia. If you had only known how to make such a leap. What did you get yourself into? Beasts with the faces of men prey on the weak and powerless. We cannot simply show our bellies to the jackals that plague our land. By the gods! Ruia! What happened? She was thrown to her death from the Pigeon Tower. Your letter. Why was she killed? That is the badge worn by Dimnos, our Master of Arms. Why did she have it? I will find out soon enough. You poor, poor girl. 
May you walk in the field of reeds. Dimnos, I'm looking for Ruya. Why would I know where that peasant is? Perhaps because she has your badge. Shit. Well, she was just an Egyptian dog. No matter. Why did you do it? Truth? I didn't mean to kill her. Only teach her a lesson for her insolence. She refused to read a letter for me. You must confess to Peleus. I suppose you want the same fate as Ruya. You stupid Egyptian. I'll teach you the same lesson she learned. Come! Try! Death for you! <laughs> <laughs> Letter he mentioned. Was it Dimnos? Yes. He killed Ruia out of base cruelty. And he died because he thought I was also less than a person. What a senseless tragedy. She was a smart girl with a good heart. The letter you recovered, it is information for Apollodorus. I will make sure he gets it. We must all do what we can to help Cleopatra's cause. She alone cares for all the people of Egypt. Push your racket, auntie. You will just make the hippos excited. Or call the bandits back. Is... is that him? No, not Maketra. But where is Maketra? I cannot worry about that now. If things do not change, the crops will rot and we will starve. Neb, you look strong and carry yourself without fear. Can you help a poor farmer? Your friend was killed by a hippo. Yes. The beast rampage slaughtered many. Yesterday, we were attacked by bandits. In their wake, they disturbed these hippos and drove them into our fields. The gods seem content to peace on us. We cannot harvest the crops, nor can we put the dead to rest with the hippos in our fields. Let me help you collect the dead. One, I think. And Makatra not among them. What will I do now? Thank you, Neb. Their souls will now rest in peace. Who is this Makatra, your aunt mourns? Our protector. Brave and strong like you, he would chase away fierce animals or the bandits who plague us. I guess there is no one left who can keep us safe. Such a curse upon all of Egypt, it seems. Where do these bandits roost? There is a canyon. I would take you there, but it is far too dangerous. Also, someone must deal with the dead. Of course. I will find it. The bandits are known as the Hungry Great Ones. May the gods protect you. I hate drawing guard duty. Uh, me too. But at least we still get an equal share of the spoils. And we promised a spot on the next raid.
Let me get you out of there. You are a good hurry. These bandits breed like rats. Poor son! I'll be... Poor son! I'll be back for you! Thank you. But why did you save me? Your aunt spoke of your desperate straits. I would free any unjust captive, but the plight of a protector is something I cannot ignore. You are a Medjai. We are of the same brotherhood. Yes, I must hurry home. The war chief, Fat Homer, took the hungry great ones on a raid. You move like a lion. Would you help me stop them? <laughs> Ketra, I think we are done. You fought like a lion yourself. I have learned much from you. You've made me a better protector. Egypt needs more people like you. The land needs more people like us. I will sing songs of our battle to my aunt to remember this day. Huh. <coughs> oh, now! What happened to you? Omens of death. <laughs> Looks like the pilot got away, but left embalming tools. The statue of Sobek. Lord of the Nile. But he is contained within a symbol that invokes Circuit, the scorpion goddess of magic. They must have brought the sarcophagus by Feluca. Pretty remote place for this. Some of those marks on the body look like the sacred organs were removed. At least the lungs are gone. Dark and foreboding invocations. These deaths are a harrowing journey into madness. What could the perpetrators hope to gain by invoking the goddess of magic? I cannot sell any chariots today. My Serapis, I cannot believe my eyes. That looks like a Medjay badge. 
Please forgive me. For a moment, I thought you were the sign of the Medjai, the lost protectors. I do. I am. What pains you, Nebet? My heart is broken. My truest friend, my husband, Erix, has been murdered. Tell me what happened. He was renowned for his work. A soldier ordered him to build war chariots for the Pharaoh. He was happy to do so. But when the soldier returned to collect, he only offered to pay half the agreed price. Erix refused, and the soldier cut him down and stole the chariot. If you are truly a Magi, will you help me get justice? Find the soldier and destroy the war chariot so he may not insult my husband's memory. I can do that for you. Don't cry for these mouthy peasants. No, I was just saying. You'll think his widow is still running their show. Why? Do you fancy her? You're into short, older women? She's a handsome woman. Yes. Well, good luck convincing her to let you into her bed while we ride around. Sacrifice made to honor the builder who was cut down. Honorable Medjai, what news do you bring? I have destroyed the war chariot that Eryx made, and was stolen by the vile captain of Antilla. Your husband's memory is restored. The little ones are sleeping, finally. Thank you for checking on them. May Serapis watch over them and smooth their dreams. They wake up screaming every night. What they survived, what you escaped, it is too much to bear. If I could put Sefeto's face into the fire, it would not be enough. I know. I know. That is Let quite the go. story. You are safe now. Ah, the little one not the whole of it. Oh, it was a true masterpiece. The shaft wrapped with water-hardened leather. The blade hammered out of the metal of heaven. I would love to see it. Impossible. I crafted it for one of Apollodorus' captains when I lived in Saïs. But Sefeto's soldiers killed him. That is the reason I left. Sefeto? Yes. Sefeto the firebrand, who governs Saïs with flame and fear. One of his bootlickers stole the spear that bears my mark. Outrageous. Can you not get it back? The man is beyond my reach. He sails on one of Sefetu's triremes on Mariatus Lake. Ah, I hate a bully. My travels take me far and wide. If I come across him, I will look for your spear. I would love nothing more than to hear of his fall. If you manage it, the Serpent of Serapis is yours. Huh? Yeah, no. See anything yet? No. What are you looking for? Trouble. Hmm. Expecting any? Always. Huh. Good talking with you. Uh, uh. 
The spear is magnificent. Clearly the work of that master from Sao Village. The serpent of Serapis is a weapon worthy of the gods. Oh. is first! Chefibi! Chefibi! <gasps> when I get my hands on that boy, he will pray that Osiris had taken him. Magi, thank the gods. I have not seen one of your kind in many moons. What troubles you, little mother? My son, Tefibi. The boy is mad, always running off. He wishes to be some sort of thinker. Set, take him. He has taken to searching for a cave near the beach. He should have been back by now. If he is lost, I will find him. Thank you, Medjai. This looks to be where she claimed the Phoebe was. <laughs> Someone's clothing. Torn. <clears throat> the blood leads around the lighthouse. I wonder. His wounds bled out in the water. He must have swum away. Someone's clothing. Torn. <clears throat> the blood leads around the lighthouse. I wonder. Blood trail leads to this door. I must prepare myself. Ah! The Phoebe, uh, your mother sent me to find you. Well, that's good. I would have hurt you otherwise. With my mind. <laughs> I doubt it, little man. Okay. Please help me up. Whoa. Feeling a bit... dizzy. I think I lost a lot of blood. Then it is time we get you back to your mother. She will be cross. Ah, fine. Lead on. I have enough strength to leave. Mother sent a warrior to protect me. A philosopher does need a guard. Hey, I'm not your guard. I'm helping your mother. Your badge? The Eye of Horus? It is my Medjai badge. Medjai? Ah, old kingdom. Weren't they killed by the Ptolemies? They forgot one. Would you let me write your story? The last Magi will be a fantastic tale. Well, what kind of story would you tell, Tefibi? I know. A fable. There! Get him! He robbed us! You stole from them? <laughs> Defend my free will, warrior. I will deal with them. <laughs> Die! <laughs> You die. I'll pin him. Hey, it's me, brothers. I'll have to get out. I will nail him. Even at all? 
Uxi! Uxi! O pime me! O pulo me! Ah, tome! I can hit it! Não que te crossfero! Pare tu me da hora! I have the range! There. That should be all of them. The Phoebe, did you leave anything else out of your adventure? Say a crate of drachmas. You wound me, Magi. I am in search of knowledge. And a drachma or two, but never in theft. It looks like there are no others coming, Te Phoebe. Return to your mother and your studies. Come and see me any time in Alexandria, Magi. I will be a great philosopher. Just you wait. I look forward to it, Te Phoebe. Bayek! Finally, someone who appreciates my genius. My play has been confiscated. You are attracting trouble. Worse yet, they jailed my actors, all among the finest poets of Alexandria. They say if I attempt to put on the play, I will be put to death. Be careful, Phanos. You are frail and brittle. You stick to writing. And I will help you find your play and actors. They threw my actors into the garrison. You believe that, Bayek? If the Philakit I want to fight, I will fight. I did not start this war, but I will finish it. The Ptolemies have oppressed poets before. They banished us all to Nubian mines. Perhaps if your play was performed at the temples, it would reach more people. Whoa, wait. I did not realize you Siwans knew so much about the theater. In Siwa, we had many great satires performed at the temple. <laughs> I remember watching one in which Anubis gets engaged to a jackal. <laughs> How fascinating! I have yet to see the Egyptian satires. What is your play about? It is called Faror Enough, a rousing comedy about oppression and the ignorance of the Pharaoh. Oh, and lions! Sounds... interesting. Is this theater not magnificent? And empty because of the regime. Please, Bayek, fly like Senu and bring life back to this amphitheater. I miss my poets. Get me out of here. Blessed am I for your presence. Thank you. Now is not the time to stand. Oh. Ah, carry to safety. An experience like no other. Will you be still? No. Do not leave me here. I need to get out of this place. Oh, you are a good friend to me. Thank you. Ah, 
This reminds me of my youth on stage. I was an excellent sack of grain in my premiere appearance. I pray you, be quiet. Thank you. But there are two more of us. They escaped. Canadios Philakitai seek to kill them. They also took the play and headed toward the palace. If it lands in the wrong hands, Thanos will be in danger. Do you know where the actors hide? They're home, not far from here. Don't worry about me, I'll find my way back to the theater. <laughs> where is that treasonous fool? You will find that filthy beggar, now! Sir, I believe he's an actor. I don't care what he is. We must find him or I'll be stuck. <laughs> Time to go, young poet. Wait. Isn't there supposed to be two of you? Capanios? He fled, and accidentally brought the guards to me. They hunt me like a dog. If you could deal with them, I can return to Phanos, and our masterpiece will go on. Be calm. We will be out of here quickly. Of course. I will be as silent as... Be still. I think I hear them. Anything? Nothing yet! You know, you are perfectly Thanos' type. I have no idea what you speak of. You are a perfect brooding hero. A grand story until the gods smack him down mightily for his temerity. That is not helpful. But such a tragedy this will be. All will be pushed to tears. Halt! Stay there, you! <clears throat> Clear off now! Sensor has his work cut out for him. Today's bats was especially putrid. Perhaps Thanos the Younger should follow Socrates' path. Thanos the Deader, huh? <laughs> I hear him. You will not pass. Work with Our me. master is hit. Come! <laughs> did it, Bayek. Thank you. I never doubted you. Aya is a lucky woman. Yeah. <laughs> Aya always spoke highly of your place. She enjoyed my pro-Cleopatra work. My pharaoh lady. Now we can perform this play like true poets. The guards may kill us, but it is an artist's duty to see his vision fulfilled. <laughs> I will write a play for you someday, Bayek. The last of the Magi. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry. We'll change the names of the main villain, Ptolemy, and the title. We won't die, and the play will go on. Thanks again for your help. Those Metrocoites will think twice before attacking my poets again. We will be able to spread our word and stomp out those filthy untruths, Bayek. The regime will fear you, Thanos. They do already. Why do you think my poets are accosted in the street? Truly? Gennadios' Philakitai haunt the streets, harassing our people. They grow even more vicious. This must stop. I will defend your poets. I support the cause. Of course, but first we celebrate. Then we destroy our opposition. Bayek, it is finally time to celebrate with my muses. Shouldn't you stay to oversee your actors? We must find time to work on the next play. Bayek, you must come. This celebration better rival my own events in Siwa. Come, Bayek. This will be an excellent night. Let us hurry. You will be our guest of honor. I remember the celebrations we would have in my house in the better years. Ah, memories.
They have become less so of late. These feel lucky I suffocate our celebrations. They know nothing of poets. They think they know truth. You know it better. Of course! Truth comes from chaos, not order. Uh, Senu we'll sees something. Bah! There is nothing but... Bayek! Gennadios is Filakitai! I should have known those louts would follow us! Follow me! This... This is the fool who puts out that traitorous gibberish! Fun of the fool! There! That is a treasonous fool! Thanos the Younger! Get that fool! Kill the traitor! This Thanos! Get down! I will... <laughs> What a corpse! A corpse! Oh, wait, wait. Hey. I'll kill you. Oh, baby! <laughs> ah, my home finally. Prepare yourself, Bayek. This is a night you will not forget. It had better live up to the tales that I are told. <laughs> this is grand, Thanos. Bayek, come. Enter our very own Elysian fields. Welcome to the land. Thanos, your oh, ways are getting better His mission is approaching. Well from your previous works. And this is it, where the poets of Alexandria find respite. Wait, do you hear that? Gennadios! His men must have come after us. We will deal with this, Thanos. Come, bring your blade. I will fill my inkwells with the blood of these Metrocoites. They come, Bayek! Let the gods indulge! <laughs> Gennadios sends his regards, Thanos. <laughs> Your treasonous filth is cause for death! Gennadios knows of your ways. Thanos! You are a plague on our We will assembly. wipe your treasonous ass out of here! Your treasonous filth is cause for death! Come on, lads! This way! <laughs> Lucky I still go away. You are going to pay! Over here! <laughs> <laughs> Are your people safe, Thanos? Metrocoites! They have slayed some of my muses! Dracon, my favorite poet, will live, thankfully. There must be a way to stop them permanently. Bayek, we are blood poets now! This is our chance to bring people to our cause! Whatever it takes to defend freedom. Give me some time. I will talk to my people. Find their strongholds. Get Phoebe. You will be the death of me. No, mother. I will be your salvation. No more olives, no more payment to rent a press. Pay attention to what you have in front of you, idiot boy, not the mirage you see in the distance. But what a mirage, mother. The white linens of a philosopher, and with that, drachmas. Coins would come from the papyrus you lost. Are you sure this is where you lost it? I already told you. The papyrus was taken from me. Just admit that you lost it! It was taken from me, mother. Do not fret. I'll get it back. I only need a small bit of help.
Magi, your help is needed again. My idiot son left my offering in his papyrus, which he lost. I cannot sell my oil without giving thanks. I did not lose it. The guards took it. The papyrus is my life, Magi. They go too far, these guards. The papyrus had my notes. Those bastards threw it on a boat. I will look into this, Tefibi. And I will find your offering, little mother. My soul is troubled. The Pharaoh's guards have yet to forget Tefibi's actions. I will find us a better path, Magi. Never fear. This must be the boat that the Phoebe spoke of. I might well be able to get in unseen. These guards will know better than to trouble the Phoebe from now on. This is the papyrus. And the offering. Both the Phoebe and Jepu will be happy. Oh, vakech meno. Nunes kede. Now I'll prove to them that I can match them in wits. Still spouting your nonsense. The Greeks will never accept you. Yes, they will. I'll be a philosopher soon. Your offering. Now you can return to selling your olive oil. I worry about him forever. It is hard to understand when you do not have children. Allow Tefibi his chance. He'll be all right. Morias Palaskevazma da du. Strong mass clouds the air. Tana lives nearby. Oh, the gods shame me, Neb. The Tanner is my husband. He carries that stench home whenever he returns from camp. Is he here now? By the smell? You would think so. But it's worse when he's around. Do not let it trouble you. We all must do work we do not relish. You are right. My husband works hard, but cannot keep up with the demand for his services. The Medjai are said to be legendary hunters. If you would like to earn some good coin, go and see him. I'm sure he could use your help. Hmm. I will consider it. Where would I find him? His hunting camp is north and west of Sao. He will be tanning hides for a few days. If only there was some way for him to deal with the stink. Oh. No! Keep your jaws away! Back, beast! Anyone! My thanks, Traveler. I did not expect the gods to send help my way this day. I was afraid that beast wanted to eat me in revenge for my craft. What brings you this way? Your wife in Sao told me you might need a hunter. Yes, yes. Too much demand and not enough supply. I would be more than happy to pay you good coin for the hides I need, and for you to risk their teeth. I am listening. I need hyena ears, crocodile eggs, and vulture skulls. What do you do with vulture skulls? Many priestesses of Iset use them for headdresses. They pay well.
Well now, what do you have for me? All that you asked for. Ah, yes, good, good. And in fine condition. They will do nicely. Your pay. Please! These crops need to be loaded for transport by the day's end. A little more than a moment of my time, don't you think? I'm sorry. We are normally two, but my son cannot keep up. One thing at a time. Let your boy rest. I will help you collect your harvest. He is too young to be working the fields. I know it, but my field hands ran off when I couldn't pay. The tax collectors demand all my grain, or they will burn my house down. Thank you, sir. Now I'll be able to pay Sefetu's dogs off. This time at least. Tell me about these tax collectors. They ride the roads all round size, sticking mostly to the outskirts. Their rabid master, Sefetu, has them tax the people for all they have. Let me see if I can find them and convince them to change their ways. You work on your farm and raising your boy. Yes, Ned. Now that he can get some rest, I think my boy will get back his strength. The gods praise you. Yeah? Wait, <gasps> maintain protective formation. I will feed the hurry. Protect the hurry. <laughs> the, the end has come for you. <laughs> I seek the master brewer, Hakuf. I have no time. Speak to one of my overseers if you must. You misunderstand. I am a Magi. Apollodorus sent me. Apollodorus, of course. He sent me for the scarab, the shadow that darkens Saiz. Shh, please. That is an evil name to speak aloud. Apollodorus knows that people are suffering. In my position, many confide in me. Trade is strangled, the soldiers run rampant, and the weight of Ptolemy's taxation crushes the breath from us. Come with me. Let us retire where we have a roof overhead. Give me another portion of dates. Huh. <gasps> There are many terrible stories about the scarab. I am sure Apollodorus told you. Tales of mutilation, disappearances, and folk buried in the desert and left to die. A horrendous fate, trapped in the shimmering sand, your mind and body pounded by the remorseless sun, waiting for the final release into the duat. But these are only stories. There are real villains in size. But the Scarab, if he exists, it is not safe to speak of him. The investigations of Harkov's agents. Concerns of the people. Ah, Saiz is no different than Siwa. Uh -huh. ah.
The last man who asked questions about the scarab was near beaten to death, with his tongue cut out. Mm. Who was he? Old Gupa, father-in-law to the most powerful man in the region, Tahaka. That boy, Kawab, is his grandson. Hey, you tired of winning? I'm looking for your grandfather. Do you know where he went? No, he left on the road to Camp Piros. He should have been home by now. I'll see if I can find him along the road. Please, Mechai, if I can trouble you, Harkuf's assistant, Nesamun, took a delivery of beer down the southern road. He never made it to Yamu. Please, can you find him and make sure he's okay? I am on the case. That beer was meant to honor Sekhmet. If he drank all that beer, he'd be whipped. These jackals will continue to prey on the good people of this region. I must deal with them. I should be cautious around here. Kill me if they hear us. I I cannot move. Are you Nesamun? Are you all right? Thank happy, yes. What happened? I was bringing a delivery to Yamu when I was ambushed by these bastards. And? Yes, okay, I stopped for a quick nap. But still, they drank or smashed all the beer and threatened to kill me if I did not brew more for them. Take the oxen back to size. You'll have to prepare a new delivery, I imagine. Try not to stop along the road this time. Must deal with Sefetu's archers in Sais. They are his eyes. That takes care of Sefetu's eyes. <laughs> I 
I should find the Zervos and see what he knows about Sefetu. See if he's connected to the Scarab. I will ask among the merchants, see which are friendly to him. My dearest, we do not have enough to pay Sefetu his accursed taxes. When he comes, I will talk to him about selling myself into bonded labor. No, no, you don't have to. I confessed our plight to Lady Maret, and she gifted me a purse full of coins. It will buy us a month or two. That family is so generous. We must make a libation to the gods in their honor. Careful some dates. Finest in the area. Same ones the brewery uses for its famous beer. I am just looking. Tax you know about a man named Zervos? Zervos? The harbor master is dead. Any further word on Zervos? Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, who is that again? Another late night. Uh, they are all long these days. I see. Uh, sorry, I, I can't help you. The tax collectors ask for good date. I am just looking. You know about a man named Zervos? The harbor master? Huh. Why are you asking about him? I have heard he is missing. In hiding? Perhaps dead. What would you do if Sefetu put a price on your head? Ah, I see. I am not one of Sefetu's men. I don't know anything about it. I don't stick my neck out. I have nothing to tell you. Finest metalwork in size. <laughs> Good day for business? Not half bad. What are you looking for today? For Zervos, the harbor master. Do you know where to find him? You are looking for who? Why? I don't know him. I heard he was dead. Why are you bothering about him? He was a good man. A good man? So you do know him? I don't. I just heard others say it. Leave me be. I'm still looking for Zervos. I told you already. I don't know anything. Leave me be. Bean. No one on the streets after dark. By order of Sefetu. How are you keeping? As best I can. I'm tired of hiding. There is a stranger in the market asking about you. What? Who is he? Is he one of Sefetu's curs? I do not know. I do not think so. He wears an old-fashioned badge, but he does look dangerous. Badge? What kind of badge? A Medjai badge, I think. A protector? Uh, keep a watch on that one. We are not fighting men. You can take the bounty off my head. I am not one of Sefetu's men. I am searching for Zervos on behalf of Hakuf. Good. I am Zervos, mighty harbor master of size. <laughs> Forced to hide on my own dogs. Why is Sefetu after you? That dog. He is strangling the whole town. Taxes us to death. He burned my cousin's farm. That's right. I've been doing what I can. Helping people hide their imports and exports. What Sefetu does not see, 
He cannot tax. And he figured it out. His men needed my business and my house. But I hid my records on my felucca. If they haven't found my boat yet, they soon will. I'll see what I can do. My felucca is tied up at the Sais docks. I would prefer to have it back in one piece. But if you must destroy it, go carefully. Sefetu's men watch the harbor like hawks. Whoa. You needn't hide any longer. I secured your felucca. Your documents are safe. You saved my felucca. Here, take this as a small token of thanks. You have made things better here. You clearly have people who are willing to help you out, Zervos. Why don't you take on Sefetu? Sefetu is too powerful, too greedy. He knows there is no one strong enough to stop him. We are not fighting men. Sefetu surrounds himself with soldiers. His base at Fort Nikiyu is guarded with Baliste. Fool that I am, I helped him import them. May a moon watch over you. Is there any news about Jessica? Nothing since that demon soldiers arrested her. None escaped the Firebrands fought alive. It's not fair. She was going to help us get out of Saiz. Nothing is fair. We must pray the gods lift Cleopatra to her rightful place to bring us out of fear and pain. Amosis? Yes? Fresh cockles and mussels today. My name is Baek. I come from Hakuf. He needs your help as a friend of Jeska. I'm listening. Since Jeska was killed, Hakuf needs a trusted agent to shepherd people out from under Sefetu's watch. Dead? You and Hakuf are out of touch. Jessica's too tough to be held by Sefetu. She escaped the firebrand. What? Where is she? Back on the river. She took a felucca loaded with supplies to the people she sheltered. She's taken a dangerous route to the southwest past the hippopotamuses to avoid Sefetu's eyes. If you follow the coast, you'll find her. Hemset her awies. Gehes! Blasted! These bloated lake cows! Help me drive them off! Thank <laughs> you. 
What are you called? Bayek. Good to meet you, Bayek. I am Jessica. How did you end up here? I got lost. Sailed the wrong way. I would not call avoiding Sefetu's patrols the wrong way. What do you know of Sefetu? Akuf believed you are dead, but you escaped. He needs you back. Help me get these supplies to my village. There are many depending on me. And we will talk. This... How do you know Hakuf? I was sent to him by a man to whom I am pledged. I believe we are working towards the same end. Well, Hakuf is a great man. <laughs> Though Saïs is a region of self-proclaimed great men. But Hakuf has a good heart. He cares for his people and his city. Yes. He protects them from cowards like the Scarab and Sefetu. I have smuggled many families like poor Wenis and her son out of Saïs to keep them safe. Those who have tried to refuse Sefetu, he has burned to death. You are courageous to protect families that are not your blood. If you say. I hide them in my village until we can arrange a caravan to get them beyond the desert. Hence the food and medicine I bring. How did you survive? Sefetu soldiers brought me to Fort Nikio where they burned and tortured me. But I spat in their faces. When they thought me broken, I... By the gods, Sefetu has come! Oh. No! No! Pentu! Anan! Wenis! This area is off limits. Stay here. Let me take care of them. Hey now, you're dead! Shit! Many lives turned to ash. Is anyone left? We need to be quick. More will come. Did you hear that? Yes. By the gods, you are still alive! I will not leave you here. My cousins have a farm nearby. It may be untouched. Please, help me bring Pentu. Of course. I will take him. He needs help. Of course. Bring him here. I refuse. No more. Thank you for Pentu's life. 
I did nothing that you would not have done. He owes his life to you. This is not the end of it, however. No. Those dogs still hunt for the prick master. I will go to Hakuf. We must find a way to peel Sethetu out of his shell and deal with I him. I cannot bring your people back from Duat, but I will help you avenge your village. My idiot brother has barricaded himself inside. Who is it that you're speaking to? It's one of them, isn't it? No, you fool! He fears Sefetiu's men, but hiding his head in a bush solves nothing. I am not an ostrich! Do I hear horses? Is it them? You better run! Please, if it does not work, Sefetiu's tax collectors will do something terrible. I'm not sure I can convince him, but I will keep an eye out for these tax collectors. Perhaps I can persuade them to leave you alone. I should be cautious around here. By my father's court, Marcos. What are we to do with the beggar that Marcos caught in the Felaketai's tent? If he survives the beating the men gave him, we'll sell him at the harbor for a drachma. Did you know he was mute? Perhaps half a drachma then. I will get you out. I think you will survive. No, the scarab took your tongue, but we can help each other. Akuf told me that you are investigating the scarab. Help me, and I can ensure he dies. The tax collectors, the ask, tax for collectors ask for too much. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Whoa. Entrepreneurs, wanderers, <laughs> seek not your solace here, but let your feet carry you to fabled Letopolis. 
Letopolis is a dream given form, a new home for you, built by your hands and labors. It is not. Grandfather! Are you alright? Is he hurt? Banged up, bruised, and thirsty. The soldiers did not take kindly to him, but he will be all right. Where is your father, Kawa? We must speak of this. Father is away, on his great walk. Mother! Grandfather is hurt! Soldiers mistook him for a beggar again. Father! What have you done this time? You were searching for this scarab. I hope he can help me. And in return, I can protect your family. The scarab is nonsense. Everyone knows this. He wants you to read them. Uh, it looks like this scarab is summoning warriors to the city of Letopolis. By the gods! That is where my husband is. Or the city swallowed by the desert. It is father's destiny to rebuild it. We're going to join him soon. Right, mother? Yes. My husband Tahaka has been slaving there for months. I'm sure he can help you. He knows everyone there. If you go, tell him I can't wait to see him. <laughs> yeah, of course I will, Kawa. Master Tahaka's wife is so kind. I cannot thank the gods enough for delivering her to us. I have heard that. Bayak. It was Sefetu. They took Akuf. Mm. I know what they will do torture him with red hot tongs, perhaps rip his tongue out, then kill him with a burning dagger to the heart. The prisons of Fort Nikio. Wait. They thought I was dead and tossed me in the well. I crawled through corpses and escaped by an underground stream to the river. I can't believe some pus-filled wart of a Magi has been killing our men. I heard he killed the archer Sefetu left in size. That and more. When Sefetu catches him, I heard he's going to burn his fingers and toes off, then his ears, nose, tongue, balls. Sweet Serapis. <laughs> they don't call him the Firebrand for no good reason. Do not screw up. Yeah. Time to die, Philae.
to cut you. I will get you out. Bayek, you will need to find the key Sefetu wears around his neck. Hurry. I have the key here. that clod of shit. Come on. Come on! Come quickly. This place may still be dangerous. Papi, keep me safe. Be against you bastards! I'll have your guts out! Thank you, my friend. Apollodorus was right to bring you in. You honor the badge you wear. Come visit us if you ever get the chance. May Happy watch over you and ensure your beer cup ever overflows. Blood on the water. Omens in the sky. Someone came here with a heavily laden cart, and left the same way. Though the second track looks lighter. I suspect the sarcophagus was transported by cart. It is inscribed to the mark of Serket, the scorpion goddess. But where is the body? You did not deserve to be dragged underwater by these hippos. And it appears you are prepared for the afterlife by a clumsy butcher with no thumbs. Where's your liver? This perverse poetry celebrates chaos. It invites all that is divine and just.
This happened recently, and the cart may not have traveled far. There may be more to this mystery nearby. Those responsible should not be allowed to do this again. Clear the way! Hey, what? Oh. What's the meaning of this? Oh. Welcome. Welcome to Letopolis. Dream of the great Tahaka. A new life awaits you in the glorious city of Letopolis. A chance to begin again in a golden land of opportunity and adventure. This entire city was lost to the cruel desert in the time of our ancestors. But the great Tahaka rediscovered its secrets. He is uncovering it to shine again under the sun and dedicating the city to Horus. With bright wings, we will reach the stars. Come, Neb. Are you ready to work to free yourself? Join us and take a house as your reward. Welcome, Nebet. The city of Egypt's future welcomes all. Is it true forgotten secrets are discovered every day? Ah! Many lost works and fragments of the old world are found here. Perhaps not every day, but often enough to make us wonder. I have heard the stories. A guide will show you your new house. You have but to dig it free and to help with the public works. To be welcome here. Welcome! Welcome to Litopolis. I never forget a face, and I have not seen yours before. I'm looking for Tahaka. You found it! Your new home! A miracle of a man's labor. The great work begins! No, th that's not what... You just don't know it yet. We give every new arrival a house. Only dig it out and help with the public works. A fresh start! I'm not here to live in these tough sands. Speak to some of our new inhabitants, like Nehi. He can tell you how liberating it is to leave the past behind. I cannot shed my past like a snake sheds his skin. By the gods, what am I to do? Peace, friend. What happened? The gods have cursed me. I lost my farm and my wife to my brother in Yamu, and now I've lost what little I owned. My cart got stuck in a ditch far from town. As night came on, I heard terrible roars. And I just left them. My poor oxen, everything I owned. Wh what am I to do? Roars? There are no large beasts in this region. I did not stay to find out. They were the last gift I got from my father, Kufu and Kiera. And I left them there with all I own. When I am out that way, I will see what I can find. For now, do what you can on your new house. My thanks. My house is to the right of the entrance to the temple. May you fly with the bright wings of Horus. See how you are tangled. Ah! Ah, another sacrifice to the mistress of dread. Spill the outsider's blood oh. for the lady of slaughter. I am honored you sought me out to die. Oh! 
Good thing I came looking for you. I fear Ne he would be dead, and you'd be lying food otherwise. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Bayek! You found Kufu and Kiera! Today I cry tears of joy! <sighs> Look how much you have done since I have been gone. I found something strange inside the house. It uh, arouses my curiosity and yet terrifies me. W will you look? Show me. As I dug out the main room, I found ominous writings on the wall. Old writings. I have no idea what they say, but it scares me in my bones. These are old, but incomplete. Too much is missing. Erased by time and sand. Do you... do you think it's a curse? I will ask around town. All right. What should I do? I don't know if I c can sleep here. You will be fine. You should speak to Ramesu. He knows everyone in town and everything that happens here. I'm sure he does. Ah, uh, be. Some awesome soup. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Welcome, yeah. friend. I'm... I've seen that dour face before. You've come for your house. No, I... <laughs> you would clear a house in no time. Enough. At Nehi's house, he showed me strange writings. Nothing to worry you, friend. Three others have said the same thing. But these signs are too old to be made sense of. I will check with them. You are wasting your time, but as you will. Welcome to Letopolis. Dream of the Great Tahaka. May I ask you something? Hmm? Yes, what? Nehi found a strange symbol in his house, like you. May I take a look? Certainly. He's new, yes? He'd be cute if he didn't look like he was always about to cry. Tell him I asked how he was. My name's Nebefa. Ah, Sa'ad! More of the message. Shem and Nisu, Anatem. Demo. Honey. Yes? What can I help you with? Ramesu said you found strange hieroglyphs in your house. Yes. I thought they were kind of creepy. I think someone else may have found the same thing. May I look? Sure. Go on and take a look. Looks like the same style. Perhaps part of the same message. Let's hear. Huh. Huh. This entire city was lost to the cruel desert in the time of our ancestors. But the great Tahaka beat it. Are you new here? Passing through, but looking into a mystery. 
Did you find ancient hieroglyphs in your house? Didn't everyone? Didn't worry me much. Why? Does it mean something? Not sure yet. May I look? Don't see why not. Tell me if I should worry. Another part of the message. That's the whole message. It appears to be a prophetic vision. Where is this temple? What did the priests hope to achieve in their last ceremony so long ago? These men, they were war priests. Were they killed? Or did they choose this fate for themselves? Some ancient concoction, long since dried up. Hmm. A prayer. Ah. The Lady of Slaughter. This place was dedicated to Sekhmet then. I thought Letopolis was home to Horus. Letopolis was sacrificed to the gods by the ancients, so the rest of the Nile could be granted to the realm of men. These priests made an invocation for protection to the one before whom evil trembles. In drinking their concoction, they gave their lives, as well as their city, to Sekhmet. In their eyes, Tahaka's project would be sacrilegious. I'm getting used to living with these symbols. Nebefe even came by for a meal. Did you find out anything? I did. Though I'm not sure you are going to like it. Uh, a curse! I knew it! No, not exactly. Letopolis was an offering to Sekhmet, to protect the rest of the Nile. We have offended the Lady of Slaughter? No wonder the sands always blow, she wants to reclaim the city! Uh, are the officials blind or mad? I can't stay here. Maybe Nebefe will come with me. What about you? My time here is but temporary. You were kind to me when others were not. Maybe we will see each other again in this world. Uh -huh. 
Here, let me help you with that. Oh, what? You think me helpless? I'm surprised to see a woman in your condition working so hard. The arrival of a child is a blessed event. Oh, I am no delicate lily. Oh, are you in pain? Bah, my little bean is just making herself known. My workers are so slow, I need to run over and check on them. Allow me, Nebet. Baba! Ipui! Can you hear me? Baba! Ipui! What happened? The tunnel collapsed. Baba and Ipui are trapped inside. How can I help? Are you strong enough to clear the way? See if you can bring them out. Please, Neb. They are my brothers. Stay here. I will do what I can. I'm going to have to force a way through. Hey there. Are you hot? Ah, I twisted my ankle. My brother Baba was working further in. The tunnel collapsed. I don't know if he's alive. I will get you out first. Then find him. Careful. I think I heard a hissing sound nearby. Ipui! I will help him from here. You need to go back and find Baba. Hurry! He might be hurt, or worse. Take care of him. I will find your last brother. Thank you, Neb. Watch it. Forgive me for killing your green ones. There is no other way through. Are you hurt? No. I managed to squeeze in there just before it collapsed. I had no idea this was here. We were digging to reach the river. That place was probably part of the old temple. Do you need help getting out of here? I am fine. I am going to meet with my brothers and take a break. What is this place? history of the lost keepers of this place. The sword is missing. I wonder if Maher succeeded at the House of Circuit, or whether his cause was lost there. Chief Nito, the well tunnel partially collapsed, but I was able to help the workers. My little Bean and I are so fortunate you passed by when you did, Medjai. May the gods bless you a thousand times for your efforts. Take care of yourself. May the gods bless your little one. Who's there? I'm armed. I will hurt you so much the gods will sing stories of how badly for ages. <laughs> Keep the peace, friend. I'm merely curious. There is little enough left of value. The jackals have already stripped the site clean. I read about an ancient battle between Mahes and Ochus and wondered if it was here. This was where Mahes fought and died at the hands of Bago as the eunuch and mentor the Rodian. You may have read my version of Ma'ani Jehuti. No? No matter. Do you know what became of Mahe's sword? The sword of Ptah, said to be sacred both to Sekhmet and Serket? No. But as I said, this place has long been plundered. 
The bandits stay north of here, so I stay far away. Thank you. I'll head north. These must be the bandits the historian spoke of. I wonder where they are keeping this sort of tar. Best not to draw attention here. Thank you, dearest goddesses. I will use this to keep the faith. Sarcophaga inscribed with the mark of circuit. How much death does she require? What is that sound? Voices? Not going anywhere! that sound? Voices? Ghosts? Demons? I need to find the source of the chanting. Mysterious killings have led here. This symbol is old. This place is from a long time lost. What is this insolence? Who dares to intrude upon our most sacred work? Sacred? A trail of death led me here. This cavern reeks of the profane. Are you the bloody hand responsible? The goddess Serket is she who tightens the throat, and the one who lets us breathe. I do her will. I am her sting. All of the souls were chosen from lesser faiths. But we study their organs and read the signs. Soon we will know Serket's secrets and become immortal. This was your last chance to win the goddess's favor. Let's test your immortality, shall we? 
Too late to save this one. You will be the last victim of this cursed ritual. The ravings of a madman. Tahaka, where can I find him? Master Tahaka is always working. You can find him at his house. Oh. Master Tahaka, my name is Bayek from Siwa. I am indeed Tahaka. Grand Planner of Sais and Steward of Latopolis. I met your family. Your wife sent me here. She said you might know about the one called the Scarab. This is not the place to speak, for who knows who may overhear our words. Come inside and I will answer you. Your son is very proud of your work. He misses you. He'll be here soon. I dream of my son and his sons following in my steps. The world is made by great men dreaming big. What do you dream of, Bayek? I do not have the luxury of dreams. Just finding the scarab. The scarab preys upon the weak. There's no threat to me. Are you not afraid of the Scarab, Tahaka? It seems after what he did to your father-in-law... What happens to poor Gupa tears me. Whatever my life's work, whatsoever I did to bring that down upon him, I beg the gods forgive me. Master Tahaka! They're attacking the ruins again! Bayek, come fight with me. Sandstorm coming. That keening is the voice of the Resetium. The desert dogs use the storm as a rallying cry. These reavers use the sandstorm to mask their raids. Stay close to me! Do not let these curse surround you! I will not let you destroy my great work! Over here! Drive of naked yet has bashed! They pour out of the storm! These reavers fly on the wings of the storm! You face the greatest of Egypt! Come, Magi! Fight with me! Quick! Hunt them down! Come here, brothers! Justice! Bayek, do not stray into the storm! 
You expected to find our soft bellies, but instead, you have found our iron teeth! <laughs> oh. Oh. upon them like Sobek's teeth! Bayek, ride with us! These desert dogs have crossed me for the last time. And with your fierce iron, I know we can end their threat. I understand your thirst for blood, Tahaka. But these bandits are not my concern. Tell me about the scarab before you ride. Is that not the badge of a Magi that you wear? These reavers are a threat to the good and innocent people of Latopolis. Come with me, Bayek! And once we have returned these curs to the desert they so love, then I will tell you the story you want to hear. All right. I will join your course for today. Come, Bayek. Take up your iron and join us. Brave, loyal servants of Latopolis! We will root these rivers out of their holes and spill their blood on the sand! Get out of the way! This task you have put yourself to, whoa, whoa, whoa. it seems impossible. <laughs> Only the gods can know that for sure, Baik. And if I do not reach for the stars, how will I know how close yeah. I can get? Acropolis was a wonder once, before the desert overtook it. I mean to show the world, to show the gods, that men can conquer anything if they put their minds to it. Perhaps you have uh, been uh, sent by the gods to help me realize my vision. Yeah. A strong arm, a keen eye. We could restore this land to glory. I have my own great work ahead of me. <laughs> we shall see if I cannot convince you. <laughs> I should not be seen in this area. Set your prayers, dog! Stand it still! Die! Die, you bloody! Wait a second! My thanks to you, Baik. Before you arrived, I thought my dream was doomed to die. You gave me the strength to hunt down these reavers. Who are they? Blood-fevered followers of Sekhmet, the Lady of Slaughter. They wish nothing more than chaos and ruin. Are they connected to the Scarab? <laughs> no. They think themselves lions, but they are no more than carrion-eaters. And now they will feed the scavengers. I will bring this priest back to the city. Meet me at my house. We will dine, and I will tell you what you need to know. May Ta bless you and the protector saving me, Master Tahaka. How did you end up here? I was kidnapped by these blood-crazed raiders. I thought the road from Memphis to Litopolis was safe. It is now, and I will ensure it stays so. You say you came from Memphis? Memphis is home to many priests. They do not need me there. But Letopolis is fertile ground. 
planted by your hard work. How are things in Memphis? I must admit, Memphis is under a shadow. The High Priest angered the gods and is cursed to see the doom of the city. Your messengers reached Memphis, singing of your vision of tomorrow. I have come here to serve the gods. Once you are rested, we will make a home for you in Letopolis. Bayek, did you see the sandstorm? Come, Father said you join us for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you made it safely, Maharat. <laughs> yes, the gods blessed our passage. We saw vultures and a hyena and so much sand. <laughs> Enough sand to fill a lifetime. That is why we need so many to help us with our great work. And what do you promise them, Tahaka? A parcel of land with a house to call their own. They must only help reclaim it from the desert. That is all? Just dig up your house? It is no simple task. We must all pitch in to honor the gods. People know his vision is a true one. It is good to honor your father, Kawa. To the savior of Lotopolis. Mm. Let us have some honey dates now. And are you all right, Bayer? Are you unwell? Are you unwell? failing you. Please, don't hate me. Soon, I will walk the outer darkness with the Hidden One, leading me into the field of Ritz. Smile upon you. Stripped of armor, weapons, and coin. Where to begin? Now, to hurry before the wind erases the tracks. First my steel, then the scarab. They will attack on sight here. Pack up the gear. Yes, <laughs> remarkable armaments. It's packed up in a crate as payment to Sefetu. Good. We'll send it to Fort Nikiu in a few days. How long do you think it will take for him to die? To die, we buried? Two days? Uh, he looked tough. 
I bet five drachma he would survive for at least three. You're on. Wait. Who's going to check? They should have stayed in the shadows. upon my work, so that my name might remain enduring in this temple forever and ever. Oh, Mother Moot, watch over me, so that I may be placed among the imperishable stars and may never die. Oh, Mother Newt, watch over me, so that I may be placed among the stars and never die. Oh, gods, smile upon my work, so that my name endures. Oh, hey, hold on. <gasps> Join the dead. So, this is how a dream dies. I could have built something to last an age. And Gupa could have sung stories of your accomplishments. There are things I regret. We all labor for higher powers. We are all enthralled to greater forces. There is no escape. I am but one in the order of ancients! This victory will bring you no peace! It is not peace that I seek. It is not for my soul that I walk this path. The order of ancients will remember me as the bringer of waters and the builder of cities! Oh, the desert will blow in and scatter the dream of Metropolis like dust. Take care of him. Try to make him understand if you can. You have brought blood and death to my house. You are blind. But now you must open your eyes. Your husband was a scarab. He did this. Your father was tortured and scarred by this man. As were so many others. No. 
It is up to you to raise your boy into the light, out of the blood and shadows of his father's legacy. I'm sorry, my son. Good news, Leila. Aya's DNA has finished sequencing. You can sync with their memories now. They're pretty fragmented, but you should be able to dip in for a little while. I walk on your water. Okay. Weird. <laughs> Just like the Battle of Salamis, Captain. I have you trapped. <laughs> Here comes Themistocles. And that is the game. Oh! <laughs> 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 Foxy, that's why are we delivering all this treasure? We could retire to Lesbos with this amount of gold. <laughs> what say you, desert rat? If that chest doesn't make it to Pompeii, this ship won't either. We crawl through Hades to deliver it if we have to. Fair enough. Back to work, you slack black horse! Temestis! My trusted shield boy, get to it, huh? We've been hired to bribe Pompey, to save a queen, and to win a kingdom. <laughs> the usual fare for us mercenaries, huh? 